Is it too late now to say sorry? No, it's not too late. But the point is, which sorry are you talking about? Ooh, there are different kinds of sorry. Yes, there is. And today we're going to tell you yes, all about. Yes, there are. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Hi, my name is Dr. Sal Romanelli. I'm Gali Romanelli. And this is the potential, potential state. state. And today we're at Own Your Shit 41. Ooh. What kind of sorry is this?、Mm. So we say sorry all the time. Well, in certain cultures we say sorry all the time. In certain cultures we don't say sorry enough. I remember living in London after two years. I used to say sorry so often. I bumped into a chair and I said sorry, sorry. to the chair. And we also know gender. Talk about the gender aspect. Of yes,、it. women more often than men say sorry and tend to apologize. Check out Tammy Rice's "Sorry, Not Sorry." Just not sorry. Whoops, you have to edit that. So basically. Well, the idea is that we, we overuse the word sorry, and there's different meanings of sorry. And today we're going to once and for all clarify and categorize the different types of sorry in a relationship. Exactly. So we, we recognize four types of sorry.、Mm. The first sorry is sorry, so, sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't come home in time, and sorry the house isn't clean enough for you, master. <laughs> and that's usually a passive aggressive and sincere. It's actually aggression. I'm just saying sorry. Sorry, and it's very dismissive. Also, it's like. Whatever, just get off my back. Yes,、yeah, sorry. What you're asking、sorry. is ridiculous. I'm going to say it a little bit slower and also a bit sarcastically as I'm jabbing you、sorry. in the heart. Sorry. Wow. Whoa. Okay. There. That's the first type, which I see often in the clinic. Then the second type is, is lowercase sorry. Sorry, which basically means I'm sorry. I'm sorry you're feeling that way. Yeah, I'm sorry that that happened to you. That sucks. Yeah. It's empathize. It's empathizing with the other. Right. It's not. It's not anything that I necessarily did or that you necessarily did. It's just. I'm empathizing with you.、Right. Sounds like you had a really rough experience. I'm sorry you experienced that. Yeah, I'm sorry it sucked. You know, at the grocery store. Exactly, and that's called report talk. Check out the episodes on intergender communication. The third type is capital S sorry, which basically means sorry. I'm taking responsibility over my part of your experience. Sorry, I. It really sucks that you know the kids were making a lot of noise while you were working. Sorry. And that is what we call on your show. No, that wasn't a good one. Why? Because that was a small. That was a. That was、mm. a. Sorry would be sorry. like. Sorry would be like. Sorry, I forgot we made plans with your parents. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot. Sorry is about me. Is about my owning my part in your dance, and that's slowly taking ownership about that, and also that prevents gaslighting. That also shows the partner that I'm take. I'm here. I'm with you. I'm. I'm, I'm on the court. Yeah. I'm, I'm owning my shit. I take responsibility. Exactly. And the last kind is sorry, which kind of like it's a playful repair attempt. It's my way of saying. I feel like it's for the little things, right? Instead of like passive aggressive, where it's just like, yeah, I did that. I'm sorry, but we can move on. Right. You know, like sorry, sorry, sorry. And we like, I know I did something that I shouldn't have done. Sorry, it wasn't intentional. And we had that play into it. It's basically it's what we call a repair attempt. What Gottman is called a repair attempt, which kind of it's an invitation to move on. Yes. So, I want us to say a little bit what happens if there's too much of each kind. So, too much of sorry basically becomes aggression. Yeah. Aggression that's going against each other's bids. Nobody wants that. Episode on emotional bids. Too much of lowercase sorry. If I keep just empathizing with you, but I'm not owning anything. That just becomes insincere. I'm like, sorry, sorry, experiencing that.、Yeah. It's almost like I'm not part of this relationship.、Mm, interesting. I'm like, like I'm on the on the balcony. Hey, sorry, experiencing yeah,、uh, that. So, sorry, sorry, that sucks for you. Right. Sorry. But where are you? Like, why aren't you taking responsibility? <laughs> Too much of capital S sorry becomes heavy. Yeah, and also kind of like victimy. Right. Victim I'm sorry.、Triangle. I'm sorry that I did that. I'm yeah, sorry. I'm, so I'm sorry. sorry. And that also kind of feeds into this core belief of your pain equals my responsibility, which we spoke about in the episode that you're not responsible for your partner's feelings. And too much of sorry. If you keep doing that again、yeah. and again, it's just over time. If you're not owning your shit enough, and you're just doing that, it kind of goes into that like dismissive category,、right. but with like an overlay of play. But it's fake play. It's、exactly. like mocking. It's like、nah, yeah, I'm not taking、yeah. you seriously. Sorry,、yeah. sorry, sorry. Exactly. You're not owning your shit. Belittling. So how can you solve this? How can you work now that you know the, the four types of sorry? How can you better、um, use sorry in your relationship? So、yes. the first thing is share this episode with your partner. Have a common language, but four types of sorry. Then, check out where you land. Like, are you doing more like the sorry dismissive? Are you owning your shit more often? Are you doing like playful sorries? Like, where are you in the categories? Or do you feel like you have a good balance? 
And also check with your partner. This would be a great exercise to do and how like, which sorries do you see more most often from your partner? Once you have that mapped out. Yeah, maybe even log it. It could be like a fun exercise yes. for the week to like yes. log it. Like, log ooh, it. I said sorry four times this week and you said yes. sorry two times this week. It could be like a fun little sorry exercise. And then what we recommend is start with capitalist sorry, the own your shit sorry. Start with that. We'll do a baseline of owning your shit as often as you can with capitalist sorry. Once you've got that, we recommend going through lowercase sorry and then saying empathize sorry. Mm -hmm. And then once you have that and you're going toward each other's bids and you feel like you've got it, move over to the sorry, because that one really requires play and trust and like a positive attitude between the couples. Yeah. And I also think, again, it really depends on the situation. Like the sorry are for like the more little things, but like the heavy things, the big ones, take the time to like reflect and see where you are before you come with a capital S sorry, but definitely come with that sorry. Exactly. And when your partner says a capital S sorry or sorry, go toward their bids. Don't say, aha, and, gotcha. then, and then grill them on it. Say, great, thanks, let's move I on. I knew it. Exactly. Once you go there, then that just, it's going to make your partner want to say so, capital S sorry less. Hmm. So is it too late to say sorry? Never. Also, don't forget, the first to forgive is the happiest. This was Gilly Romanelli. Dr. S. L. Romanelli. We are the Potential, Potential State. State. We'll see you next time.